We planned our route north to the Berry Islands to cross over one of the deepest canyons in the world, Northwest Providence Channel. Imagine sailing over 14,000 feet of water. We were told the main island only has two stores and under 200 inhabitants. Sounds like our place to explore. One drink of coffee and we're gonna put the sail up just to satisfy everybody that this steel beast is gonna sail. Let's go. Any instructions? Hold on, the boom starts swinging, duck. Quack, quack, quack. Not that kind of a duck. <laughs> Let's just figure it out. That's a plan for disaster. <laughs> Let's just figure it out. You only make you feel like you can never leave. Follow me to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever and so does me and you. looks good. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Pull it up there by hand. We only have about five knots of wind. It's helping us out a little. It really has changed the autopilot. It's not working so hard anymore. Just I am. Currently we are right between Bimini and Great Strip Cape. Just beginning to hit a lot of the rocks. We're running at about 12 feet depth. Once we get past this rock field, we're going to go a little bit north and then head on over to Great Strip Cape. Time to make some lunch. Leftovers, crabs, and lobsters, and all kinds of good stuff. Let's find some mayonnaise. Shit, there might be rats in here. Guys, scary thought. Uh, now I'm thinking the rat gonna jump out. Mayonnaise, where are you? I don't know if what I'm seeing is what I'm seeing, but I think I'm seeing water in the village. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I am correct. Never a dull moment with this boat. Where all the groceries are? There's water. How much water? Like that. Kind of rusty. It looks like it's been there for a little while. There's no forward bilge pump. This is a sealed part of the boat. It must have come in with a heavy rain. The only thing that's in danger is one can of beans. Red food, water in the bilge, no madness. Best part. Grub shell. Oh my god, my tooth! Very good. <laughs> alone in the ocean and finally sailing guys this is amazing i can't wait to finally get the genoa so i got an extra half a knot by moving the boom doing seven knots motor sailing we're really only running at 1100 rpm wind's working quite well we had the rigging we put the genoa out for sure Oh wow, the wind is on our stern again. So the boom is moving like, woo, woo, woo. I hear all kinds of clicking noises out there. What is it, your autopilot? Control box for the autopilot. 
I'm testing right now. It smells kind of warm there. Is it supposed to be like that? Go down and check it out. I put a fan there just to make sure that I could keep it at a temperature that was safe. Just put your hand there. Be careful. Don't get it near the chain. I'm not putting my hand there. You have to feel it. You can't smell heat. I can lick it. Such a science project. Just look at these guys. Oh, William move. Definitely see sparks. Sparks when it moves. Yes. Right. He says he knows what he's doing. We just have to accept this fact and hope that he does know what he's doing. Well, after 10 hours, we finally see another boat here. I guess I better dress up. Just in case if they have binoculars too. <laughs> the fishing boat. Yeah, this guy has long outrigger. You don't want to be talking about his outriggers. <laughs> Something is wrong here. Upside down. Upside down. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> Okay, I'll bring you gloves. These are definitely not sailing gloves. <laughs> I think they will do. Hold. Open plate. So why it just didn't drop? It's our boat. It does what it wants. Let's put more lubrication on there. Why it always go down to lubrication? Run this a couple times up and down. The sails have been sleeping for almost four years. Another day, another problem. Still waiting for that day I can let the line go and it can burn through my hands as the sail drops down and I can have a coffee like in three minutes. Time to anchor. Anchor's ready. Yeah, it looks like it. We're only swinging side to side now, port to starboard. Said it was thick clay here. Oh, that's life. <laughs> I'll pretend like nothing is happening. It's totally normal. Oh, <laughs> over here. Don't you know you should always be standing upwind when someone's shaving or peeing? William is preparing for the hound. We are out of grocery and definitely are out of eggs. There are only two grocery stores in the whole island. I read the reviews on Active Captain and one person was saying that they didn't have eggs. I really hope that chicken has been having better times. What are you buying in town, William? Maybe a coffee. Dreamer. They also don't have dinghy dock. So the only place where we can tie our dinghy by the restaurant says there is a seawall there where you can supposedly leave your dinghy. Supposedly. Supposedly. to keep his new dinghy floating. Donna's ready to try everything. How are you doing today? Two questions. Park the dinghy at? On that side where the cars cross it. And then where's a good place for some food? Pink color. Um, that's the restaurant and bar. And your name? Tomiko. Tomiko, thank you so much. Now we completely lost. Hey guys, dinghy dog for the restaurant. We can park it here? This doesn't look like dinghy dog. Island is pretty interesting. It's a rock in the middle of the ocean that has only a few things on it. And I think we found everything so far in 10 minutes. Right, 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 correct, gone. Craig. Pretty good. For sure this chicken came from across the street. 
I was just gonna say it better be good because we waited for one hour and a half. There is only one person working, doing everything, cooking, cleaning, serving, everyone. Crazy, so crazy. You wanna try con? Yes. It's good. Finds a fall. Fresh vegetables. I haven't seen this forever. Not quite well. Pretty surprised based on what we saw from outside. Frozen foods, meatballs. Ah, okay. Is she going underwater? <laughs> You're gonna sit outside and eat every one of them. <laughs> You don't find them very often. No. You said get as many as you can. Do you guys grow tomatoes here? No. The important. Everything comes in. Well, a few people grow stuff like in their backyard. Yeah. Yeah. But it's one lady in particular, she does eggs and she does a lot of fresh fruit. How long have you guys been here? Four hours. <laughs> oh, you just we just arrived. Yeah, yeah, we just arrived. No. Oh. I get nothing. Poor said me. You got eggs, baby. I don't eat watermelon. That's a nice melon you got there. Got nice melons. <laughs> Little boy knows what he's talking about. They're very big. Hi. Who oh, crushed the eggs? Bad news. Um, I'm supposed to pick here, right? Yeah, let's start with the good news. <laughs> good news is the weather really sucks the next three, four days. What are the bad ones then? <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, pull up anchor and go look for a safe harbor. The only safe place is this, uh, the Bay of Five Fire, two rocks. You have to go in the middle of that. Let's try it. That's what we're out here for. No! You can wreck the boat to get there. It's very hard. Take a chance on Bay of Pirates or going aground on Rat K. Anchor off! I'm gonna go a little forward so we're not putting strain on the windlass and then you just let me know when it's out of the water. Ah. The chain is wrong side for this windlass. I have to watch for the chain not to get stuck. creeps up. Actually, according to the locals, the Bay of Five Pirates is named after the Rat Pack, who came here to play far away from civilization. Sit back and imagine Peter Lawford, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Joey Bishop here in the Bay planning their next heist. Kind of. <laughs> I see water crashing against the rocks. We only have three foot of water underneath our keel. Ah. Well, based on speed and the wind, I'm gonna have to go in pretty fast. Otherwise, we're gonna be pushed into there with following seas, which means no real steering. Caution, caution, caution. Dawn Hunter entering channel. Dawn Hunter entering the channel. like threading a needle, like a big ass needle. Oh, well, that was
was an interesting entry. Now I can stop sweating. Forward sensing sonar is definitely a blessing. I can see what's in front of us, both visually and from under the boat. Mud. All right, I'll slow down. Should I go now? Yep. Very, very shallow. <sighs> Tell me when. Now? Well, I don't stack on it. All right. I'm now missing the electric motors, filling all this gas. That's why he's keeping me, because I'm so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a gym workout. It's just saying potential hazard. Yes, please. <laughs> captain is so stressful. Don't know how we're going to make it today. That's why you need a young wife. <laughs> so she can take care of you. <laughs> 